video tutorial we will discuss about renumbering the points in civil 3d uh, no let's me let me tell you what the scenario we have uh, here is a line that i have and uh, it is 600 meter long and i need to get some points along the line uh, to get some levels or coordinates or whatever and uh, let's see how it all goes through so this is from the home point home tab you can go to points menu and point creation tools and if you are going to draw the points manually you have to do this one first point creation and point creation do all this automatic and this also automatic otherwise it will keep asking you again and again you know, for the elevation and description in my case i don't want to give it again and again so i will just keep it as it is and the uh, point identity is where you have to set the point numbers so this will be the starting number of the uh, points that you are going to insert next mm, whether it should be it can be 100 or 200 or whatever and mm -hmm. i will give it one and uh, let's go ahead and add some points uh, let's say i will uh, place points on polyline mm. one point here 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 okay suppose this point is actually here now i will go ahead and go to properties point pro properties and i will display the point numbers with the points from here you can select what is the point number of this point apply okay you can see here each point has a number it's going in sequence one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so now here is a point this point i want to add another number or maybe at this point this vertex i want to add another number when i add a number it is adding 12 7 12 8 means it is going after this 11 it is giving this one 12 i don't want it to be 12 i want it to be 8 and then continue like 9 10 11 12 so it means that all the points will be in sequence right so in uh in civil 3d there is an option for renumbering so let's go ahead and explore it now in prospector tab if you don't know what uh, what they were how to get this one you can see here from home tab tool space this is the prospector tab and if you click the points it will display all of the points listed here so in our case we have 12 points right so what i want to do is after seven i want to add this number uh, 12 should be 8 right so what I will do is from point 8 to 12 I will select with shift right click and select renumber I will add suppose 20 increment so this will do what this will do will add 20 into this point number means this will be 28 this will be 29 something like that i will hit enter and then i will i will refresh you can see here after seven all the points has been changed R 
E or E all of the numbers are have been renumbered so this 32 now because you cannot rename the point as is as the same number like 7 uh, I need this one to be 8 like this 32 should be 8 I will edit from this list and I will refresh you can see this is the 8th number and I will put e enter 7 8 so from 28 up to 31 28 up to 31 means from 28 no this 28 should be 9 right so how much is 28 minus 9 it's 19 so if i go ahead and uh, deduct 19 uh, figures from this 28 it will be 9 right so let's go ahead and right click renumber I'll say minus 19 enter I will right click refresh you can see how they are all renumbered again and from here I will RP enter seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so all of our points are renumbered let's try again one point we will add one point here and if we add one point here it is 13th right but actually it should be five so this five number should be here so let's go ahead if we change it from here five it will never change because it is a duplicate already there is five so it will not make a duplicate so what we will do is from 13 up to five we will move ahead one number like 15 should five should be six and we will say Overwrite, 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 overwrite. All of the numbers have been overwritten with the new number. As you can see here. So I will go ahead. So six uh, from six up to thirteen I will go ahead and right click renumber and I will add in six I will add ten. So six should be sixteen and seventeen so there will be no duplicates. If I do that everything has changed. There are the numbers and there is gap between 5 and 16 so this 23 number this is our 23 number right so this 23 number we can make it as 6 Uh, let's try again and add one new number over here uh, I'll just manually place a number here now this number is 13 but I want this number to be 5 and then continue it to be a uh, uh, next number so what I will do is from 5 up to 13 I will all renumber and I will add 10 refresh and you can see there are 15 to 23 are all renumbered so this 23 that was the last number here this 23 23 I want it to be 5 okay. now we have right click refresh 
from 15 to 22 